I recently went into Final Cut to remaster an old project that I did. And I was really surprised by what I liked and what I didn't miss. As someone who started on Final Cut back when it was called Final Cut 7 and stuck around for 15 years after it became Final Cut 10, I eventually moved to DaVinci Resolve, primarily to color grade footage that I was editing on Final Cut, and in the last two years, using DaVinci Resolve as my primary NLE. The reason I went to DaVinci Resolve full-time was twofold. First of all, I'm using Blackmagic cameras. Cinema DNG and B-RAW files are very easy to read and edit in DaVinci Resolve without any extra encoding or transcoding as someone who was color grading in DaVinci Resolve for seven or eight years. I thought it was time to move into that platform full time. The changes and updates that DaVinci Resolve was doing versus nothing that Final Cut was doing led me to make that investment and use it full time. What's good about Final Cut is how fast it is. It's a great editor. And if you're shooting footage that you already have a color grade applied to the camera, you don't need to do any heavy grading and you don't need to do any graphics work. You know, if you're doing basic titles, then absolutely use Final Cut. It is very fast. You can start editing after you import footage because of the background render. That's a key thing to have. The magnetic timeline, that Final Cut has is something that people love or hate. Now, as far as quality, it's not like a camera, like one's gonna give you better resolution or a better color cast. They're editors. If you don't need to do anything with color grading or motion graphics, yeah, garbage in, garbage out. Good quality in, good quality out. It's all about the functions and forms of these NLEs that are going to be the deciding factor for you. One of the features that I like the Final Cut added recently, recently being in the last four years, is the noise reduction on your audio. It's a great tool to have. I'm not a big fan of Resolve's Fairlight. It's good, it's nice to have that separate page. As a matter of fact, there's an airplane going over right now. We'll see if I can cut out the sound. As someone who does even just basic color grading, it's no contest, DaVinci Resolve is the way to go. Here's the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve. It'll take an XML file from either Final Cut or Premiere Pro, which is how I was introduced to it. I would work on an edit, export the XML, do the color grading, round trip back to Final Cut. Now when you're exporting an XML from Final Cut or Premiere, there are certain things that don't translate as well. And those in particular are text graphics, that you might put up, especially in Final Cut. You, you can do lower thirds and all that. The, the placement of them may not be the same. So either disable them or wait until you get your picture lock in, your sound mix, then export and do your color grading and then come back. There is one area that Final Cut excels and that's media management. It's so easy. In Final Cut, you have a library. Under that library, you have events and under events, you have projects. They cost the same. However, if you already invested in Final Cut, you probably are not likely to spend another $300 to get the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. There is a free version of DaVinci Resolve. You can do basic editing, basic color grading, where the differences are between the studio and the free version are things like relighting, um, noise reduction for noisy images. It was interesting to go back into Final Cut and see how things work and to revisit that platform again. But I wouldn't go back full time. And the reason for that is DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro are constantly making these updates to make editing better, to give you more functions, to give you more features. This is, as I said in the beginning, why we choose the NLE that we work with. Final Cut hasn't had any major update in a long time. They do keyframes, but the tracking isn't that great. The color grading isn't, it's doable, but it's not something I would, I'm just not a fan of it. Um, I've color graded in, in Final Cut. It certainly works. And I know there are third-party plugins, but the idea is everything's in one NLE. 
And the problem with third-party plugins is when the NLE updates, but the plugin doesn't, it can kind of stifle your project for a little while. Is DaVinci Resolve perfect? Absolutely not. But in my opinion, it performs better than Final Cut does. I would consider Premiere Pro before Final Cut. Once again, to the people who use it, I'm someone who used it for almost 20 years. I've appreciate it. It was nice to go back and see it. It would just, it would put up bar too many barricades for the work that I do now. And that's why I'm sticking with DaVinci Resolve. I would love to hear your thoughts on what NLE you're using and why. What do you like about them? Is there something you'd like to see happen with one of these nonlinear editing systems? If so, let us know. Please leave a comment. Thank you so much. Take care.